Hey gamers, welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. Gamers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show the channel each and every day. We really do appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate that as well. So gamers, I know some of you got to be asking, well, Dragon, this is your third video. What are you talking about today? Well, I'm talking about something that's actually, I've done previous, past videos on it, and I didn't want to let it slip away even without power. And that's the Mass Effect Trilogy. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't know who's to blame, you know, as far as Mass Effect going from 1 to 3 in kind of the horrendous fashion that it did, you know, ending, you know, in 3 with the death of Commander Shepard, and then the whole DLC, oh, we saw him take a breath, and then we went to Andromeda. I don't know who's to blame for that. Um, all I can honestly say is, um, when I look back, now probably is the best time to revitalize Mass Effect. And I know some of you are going, well, Dragon, you really can't do that. But you can. You really can. Um, Mass Effect, the original trilogy, Commander Shepard. You know, I don't know if you have to go to Bioware and say, hey, Bioware, EA, come together and ask your sister company, father company, mother company, cousin, cousin, co cousin company, brother company, whatever relative company that you might have to step up and say, hey, we're going to give you the reins on Mass Effect. And we'll start out with the first one. And I know a lot of you are going, well, Dragon, I mean, first one was kind of, you know, it has, it was innovative for its time. Well, a graphics overhaul would be a good start. Uh, DLC would be a second uh, good start. And another thing would be to basically um, add kind of unique, uh, how shall we say, items to it. Because Mass Effect 1 was loaded with, you know, if you got a certain height of armor and you put in a couple of things to it, Basically, you were a walking tank at level uh, 50, 60, I think it was 60. And you could basically, you know, put a couple of uh, frictionless materials into your uh, assault rifle and basically cut down anything in your path. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, you could really set that game into a remake phase. I mean, hell, they're doing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's doomed. But with Mass Effect, you really couldn't go wrong with, you know, kind of resetting the... Uh, deal, uh, getting rid of some of the crap in there, like that Phoenix armor. God, I hated that. Uh, and basically, um, you know, adding side quests uh, as well as uh, various outposts that you could have gone to to kind of fight with the Geth in waves and stuff, you know, would have been a really cool feature. Uh, add to it that, you know, you could add um, other things such as, um, well, for one, I mean, it would be pretty amazing to see the jump mechanics if you rewrote the levels and seeing how that turned out. You know, with Andromeda, you could take bits and pieces of that and go, man, we slammed that into Mass Effect 1. You know, keep the storyline. You know, you definitely want to keep the whole, you know, Reaper thing and give Commander Shepard the badass, you know, weapons and stuff that he needed. You know, you would really have an amazing game. You know, I mean, you could literally borrow bits and pieces of um, Mass Effect 2 and 3 because the timeline is not that different, but the weapons seem to be so impressive. You know, and Andromeda, I mean, how in the hell did, you know, um, what was her name, uh, Sarah Ryder and her brother, you know, the other writer, basically get, you know, the jump jet capability and Commander Shepard was like, oh, God, man, I'm impressed, but I don't get shit. Um, no, I mean, you know, you're looking at a chance to rebuild a game. And I don't want to let the Mass Effect trilogy die. I know EA, you know, the evil alliance or the evil assholes. Oh, yeah, they're Electronic Arts. Uh, all three fit. Um, you know, has shelved this. And they basically almost killed Bioware. And I know there's some Bioware executives. I saw, I saw the interviews, you know, and stuff where they're basically getting down on their knees and kissing their ass, sucking their dick or whatever they want to, you know, call it. You know, front, back, I don't care, I don't judge. But nonetheless, I understand your job's on the line, so say what you want. But at the end of the day, Mass Effect could have been so much greater, you know. But um, right now, I, I really feel like, um, in all honesty, Mass Effect might be lost forever. So I'm hoping. I'm, you know, I, I would pray, but I'm, you know, I'm not a religious type person. But you know, who knows? Maybe somebody, hell, Microsoft's been shopping for exclusives. Come on, Microsoft, step up and say, Mass Effect, give it to us. We'll do something with it. But then again, Microsoft's also kind of in the business of not creating great exclusives now. 
you know, and I, I know some people are going to fire off, oh, you know, Halo, Halo, and uh, uh, what's that other one? Oh, Gears of War. Uh, bullshit. Come on. I mean, it's time for a reset on an old franchise that could be so much greater than what it is. Uh, when I saw Rod Ferguson take um, Gears of War and bring it up onto the uh, Xbox One and polish it off and then add the DLC to it and say, here's Gears of War Ultimate, this is an amazing game. Man, it almost blew my balls clean off my ass. Oh, God, that don't even sound right. I know some of you are going, Dragon, your balls are at your ass. Oh, wow. Uh, but nonetheless, I am a dragon after all. Um, you don't know where their balls are at. I mean, I've seen pictures. I've never seen their nuts hanging. Uh, I'm getting off topic. Uh, I know some parents are going, don't you talk about balls in front of my kids. Uh, but nonetheless, um, you know, when we look at the situation, you know, Mass Effect near, really needs to be brought back into the light. You know, we need to start off with Mass Effect 1. I'm pretty sure, you know, if, you know, if Microsoft buys it and actually sinks the time and effort into it, that that particular game could actually, you know, you know, bring Microsoft back to the front. And everybody would, you know, seeing it in a new light. But if I was Microsoft, I wouldn't hog it. You know, um... You know, the whole console war thing is, you know, I'm so done with that. If Microsoft were to buy uh, Mass Effect, I would honestly recommend Microsoft, you know, say, hey, Sony, we're willing to share. It's been on your platform before. We're willing to share and make sure everybody, you know, gets a chance to play Mass Effect. Because that shouldn't be a, an exclusive game. That game is amazing. All gamers should be able to play it. I mean, as much as I don't, I've never even played the Nintendo. I, I think the last one I played was the Wii, which is the stupidest name I've ever heard. It makes me feel like i got to piss. But nonetheless, I think it should be on all platforms. PC, PlayStation, um, oh yeah, Nintendo, you know, with that crazy little plumber. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a game that needs to be shared. Uh, it needs to be re remade, remade and brought back to the light. Gamers, if you're a Mass Effect fan, you know, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you think they should, you know, basically redo the trilogy. Give us Commander Shepard one more round and, um, you know, change the ending and give us better stuff, you know. I mean, an overhaul would be an amazing thing for a, a trilogy that was so great but ended so tragically. So with that being said, gamers, if you like the video, hit a like, hit that like button. And, uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And gamers, uh, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Is Mass Effect done forever? Does it need to be rebooted? Or do you want to see something new? Do you Are, are you basically saying, screw you, Commander Shepard. I'm done with your stupid ass. I'm moving on. Or in Cartman's case, I'm going home. Uh, either way, you know, let us know in the comments below. Uh, this has been Xbox Beyond the Box. I've been your host, Dragon Dust. Gamers, I want you to stay awesome. I'm out of here.